I see it as sort of the heart of the city because you have everything in one place. It's a place to relax, to enjoy and learn and it makes any visit to Canterbury even more special. We have so many objects under one roof. In our collection itself we have 38,000 items. I like um, all the crystals. I like the mummified cat. The object that I will remember most is the little mummified cat. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's sad and it's funny. You walk by uh, and you're hooked in by the knowledge that every time you go in there there'll be something new to see, something to discover, something to learn. For Canterbury it's fantastic to have a facility like the Beanie because it offers so many things for lots of different people. Happy birthday Beanie, five years, that's smashing. Happy birthday to the Beanie, keep up the great work. And we love it, so we'll keep visiting. We come every single Friday and we all meet up, we all work together for many years. Um, and we love it here. One of the things I love most about the Beanie is the collection of uh, Thomas Sidney Cooper's oil paintings. My son takes me into the room every time we come here, so it'll have to be Charlie the Bull. As I spend uh, quite a lot of time in the garden room, He's like an old friend. It's wonderful to work at the Beanie. I've been involved with the collections here since 2015 when I began as a volunteer and being brought on as a member of staff has been such a privilege. It's got tons of stuff for people to learn. It's got great activities for all families. I'm really lucky to be working in such a lovely place. When I first moved to Canterbury at the tender age of eight, um, I remember actually coming into the Beanie then and it was a place of discovery. The initial funding commitment for the project was way back in 2007 and I think despite some of the, the charms of what was there, uh, it, it was a limited space, it was difficult in terms of accessibility. There was a really desperate need to upgrade and modernise the building. There were some really interesting um, and, and valuable items in store that never saw the light of day. The physical fabric of the building has been uh, you know, really carefully conserved. The Beanie is actually one of our top tourist attractions in the city. Two million visitors over the five years. 600,000 children and young people have been engaged in one form or another, whether through formal education or other activity at the museum. Oh, that's lovely. One of the audiences that we identified in the old Beanie that we really needed to develop was families and um, children and young people. So we've done a lot of work to develop really engaging activities and programmes for them. The great thing about the Beanie is it's for absolutely everybody. We're just launching an amazing Adopt an Object scheme through which every primary school within Canterbury District will be adopting their own special object from the museum collection. Those schools and those children will have real ownership over those objects and they'll be learning all about them. The Beanie won a Sandford Award for Heritage Education in 2013 and that was in recognition of the work that it's done with children and young people. I'd like to think it looked like no exhibition they've ever seen before. Um, the first thing they saw when they came in was a, a, a life-size photograph of the back view of me looking round a wall and you could see into a mirror image from one of my books. A lot of my books are very personal so the exhibition managed to involve the books but also managed them re to relate them to things that really happened to me. I came in quite often when it was on just to hear the chatter and the excitement and the laughing. Happy birthday Beanie! Happy birthday Beanie! I'd like to wish the Beanie a very happy fifth birthday and keep doing what you do. We've been learning about Tutankhamun and Canopic Jack. I'm William Hillier from, from Cartwright and Kelsey Primary School and I've brought a group of Year 3 pupils to the Beanie Museum and they're having a wonderful time. Happy birthday Beanie!
been these fortunate to have um, really talented and committed volunteers and they work in a variety of disciplines across the museum. It's very much about those volunteers developing their skills and doing something that they're interested in as well, so it's very much a two-way process. I'd always known that I wanted to get into a museum career. Part of my love of it is the fact that I've been involved with it for so long. And it just has such a, an impact on my life, uh, a huge impact. If it wasn't for my volunteering here, I would never have got into the, my current role that I'm in at the moment in museums. What I like best about the Beanie is the way we use our collections to work with all sorts of different people at different stages in their lives. And we can use them to really help when people are affected by difficult issues. The Beanie has become something of a, a leader in terms of the health and wellbeing agenda, how you can engage people with uh, museums, collections, gallery spaces. The Beanie has got a fantastic community engagement programme. 4,331 people have engaged in that over the last few years. Paper Apothecary was part of um, a, a national funded programme um, by the Happy Museum. We created a shop um, and people were coming in and they would get a prescription from the apothecary. But these prescriptions were a bit different because we were prescribing something cultural. The actual shop was open for 10 days and we had about 7,000 people come through the doors. We have a group that meets monthly in, in the Beanie. Um, for people with mild dementia or early onset dementia sometimes and they come in with their carers and they're themed yeah. each time around a, a different either an art theme or a history theme and within that we actually get objects out. He's um, been up in the loft and started doing little bits of painting again so it's, he wouldn't have done that otherwise. She gets some sort of stimulation which lasts for two or three days afterwards. There's quite a lot of evidence to show that long-term engagement with museum objects can help bring about memories, it can help with therapy around dementia. It's important for my ethos to make sure that we're in very high quality spaces and that we feel, feel welcome in those spaces and that absolutely happens here. So there's that real sense of ownership within the community and that makes the museum relevant to people because it is people's museum and I think that that, that change in the relationship with the audience is really important. The Beanie is, is out of this world. The new gallery space was very important because it allowed the environmental and security controls which would enable the Arts Council collection to lend more freely than it might have done in the past. The Special Exhibitions programme drives new visitors to the, to the gallery quite often because that's the thing that's constantly getting refreshed. It's important for the Beanie to coincide with their fifth birthday because we've been there before. We, we took our Photographic Portrait Prize 2013 there in 2014. So obviously for us it's a, it's a real honour to be with them for their fifth anniversary. It's been a very inspiring experience. We've had a lot of people come through the doors of all ages and they've absolutely enjoyed it and I feel very honoured to be part of it. In 2015, we lent our Grace and Perry Vanity of Small Differences, and they were a huge success, over 20,000 visitors to the show. The Beanie was delighted to lead the citywide commemoration of the sealing of Magna Carta in 2015, so it was the 800th anniversary of this important event. The nine key partners here in Canterbury uh, really sort of rolled up their sleeves and got involved in starting to plan a whole agenda of activities um, that at the end of the day delivered uh, over 88,000 visitors. Right at the centre of that was the Beanie with the two important exhibitions. I hope that we will be able to look at other parts of the collection to help uncover even more stories about Canterbury. The Beanie had over 30,000 uh, visitors for May the Toys Be With the exhibition and as a springboard from that, uh, this exhibition has gone off to museums and galleries all around the country and um, many more people have got to enjoy it and that certainly wouldn't have happened if the Beanie hadn't given me that original chance. 
So we'd like to congratulate the team at the Beanie on uh, a very successful five years. We see this as a project that's um, absolutely delivered great value for money for national lottery players. What we're working on at the moment is developing a family gallery, which will be a new space, very hands-on, for one of our key audiences at the Beanie, families. And that will use some of the collections, for example, um, the bag puss and the doll's house furniture that we've got that are already really, really popular with audiences here. A new family gallery, I think, is going to be fantastic. Um, I mean, there's already a, a huge resource of things for families to do here, but sort of getting extra value out of it is, is, is wonderful. It's great to see that the Beanie has received MPO funding um, from the Arts Council which will further allow it to embed this really innovative work around health and wellbeing. The Beanie will be the lead on health and wellbeing because of the work it's done over the last five years. Although it's a museum and a gallery that uh, centres a lot of what it's work in the past, actually a lot of the work it's now doing is, is looking forward and building uh, new communities using therapy and being a therapeutic museum. Everybody who's contributed anything to the development of the museum and to all of the wonderful things that have happened here deserve to celebrate the birthday in style. That's not just the team here, it's all the people who use and participate in the museum because they're the people who make it what it is. Every time I go there it's full of people, it's a buzzing, exciting, interesting place to spend time. It really makes our work very easy when we, we go to places like the Beanie where you know that you're going to get um, an amazing team to work with. The Beanie is one of the most important and significant cultural organisations uh, within East Kent. It's a fantastic resource for everybody across East Kent to love. The Beanie's doing a fantastic job. It's a, it's a building full of life and creativity and seriousness and fun and I think it's a real highlight of anybody's trip to Canterbury. I come in here regularly just for inspiration. Happy birthday dear Beanies, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Beanie. Beanie, happy birthday. And all the Beanie I'd like to say thank you.